All right, yo, welcome back. We're uh, back with the Ski Bum Surf Guide. Another episode here today. We're talking about Southern Costa Rica. We've been out of the game for about 10 days thanks to some COVID and some gnarly, gnarly ear infections. But uh, we're going to jump right back in. We're in Costa Rica today, and we're going to tell you how to get to the southern uh, Osa Peninsula. We're going to tell you where you might want to stay, what you might need to do to score down there, and then last, we're going to talk about the surf spots. All right, so let's get going. First off, if you're coming to Costa Rica to go to the Osa Peninsula, especially the southern Osa Peninsula, you're really going to want to fly into San Jose. If you fly into Liberia, it's going to be like another five to seven hours trip. It's already going to be a five to seven hour trip. It could even be more depending on weather and conditions, so be prepared. Uh, the next thing to know is that you're probably going to need a four-wheel drive or a moto or a quad bike if you're going to score down in the uh, the Osa Peninsula, of course there is an exception to the rule, that is if you want to stay at like a surf retreat or a surf camp, something like a See Our Sister Surf or Rise Up Surf Camps, they have camps down there that are good, but they're going to run you $150, $180, $200 a night. Uh, there's also hotels down there that are near the points, but they're also going to run you $200, $300, $400, $400 or even $500 or $600 a night. Uh, so what we're going to be talking about here is how to do it on a budget. Uh, and we're going to be talking about that right now, so we're going to jump right in. First, you're going to need to go to San Jose, and from San Jose, you're going to need to move down towards uh, Pedras Blancas. Pedras Blancas is, uh, if you're taking the bus, you're going to go to Pedras Blancas. If you're not taking the bus, you're going to go ahead and just drive to Pedras Blancas, and then drive from Pedras Blancas to Puerto Jimenez. Uh, yeah, it's a long journey, I would say. It's about six hours, seven hours if you're driving. If you're taking the bus, you could spend eight, nine hours doing it. A lot of times people go to, to Beaches Blancas and then take a taxi the rest of the way. That's going to cost you money too. It's not cheap or easy to score the Southern Peninsula, but you, there are ways that you can do it cheaper, okay? Next, once you're down in Peters, past Beaches Blancas into Puerto Jimenez, you're going to want to find some place to stay. There's lots of places to stay in town. You've got several hostels for 50 bucks, you know, 40 bucks, 35 bucks. Here you got like uh, the Sura House, Corcovado, or the Blue House. Everything in there, you can stay pretty cheap. There's a couple surf houses, uh, but you're gonna need to get from these spots to the surf breaks, and it might take you 45 minutes or an hour, and it's gonna take you a four-wheel drive. So you're gonna need a guide, or you're gonna need a motorbike, or you're gonna need a quad, or you're gonna need to rent a four-wheel drive. Those are pretty much your only options down here. Uh, you're not gonna be going here in the dry season because these breaks don't work in the dry season. You're gonna be going here in the wet season, and if you go here in the wet season, the roads are gonna be bad, they're gonna be blasted, they're gonna be rutted out. Don't try to take your sedan rental car there, you're gonna destroy it. You're gonna end up paying out the ass for everything you destroy. So like I said, four wheel drive, motorbike, quad bike, uh, those are your options. You can rent a moto or maybe a quad in Puerto Jimenez. There's a, I'll put you a, a, a map pin here for a Puerto Jimenez moto rentals. And you can go there, you can rent a moto and you can go from there to the port brakes. Uh, next you're probably gonna have the most famous break, which is the, the break known as Backwash Bay. It's at the very tip of the Southern Peninsula. There's a lot of uh, beautiful nature around there. There's the King Louis Waterfall. Uh, there's a lot of really expensive accommodations around it. Uh, it's the most performance wave of the three. There's three points, as you can see on the map. Uh, it's probably the most shortboard friendly. You can get barreled at Backwash Bay at low tide. Uh, other than that, uh, I would say, you know, bring your A game because if it's working, if it's more than three or four foot, there's going to be a crew of local shortboarders on it and they're going to be aggro because it doesn't break all the time and when it does, everyone wants to score it. There's not a lot of right hand points in Costa Rica, not a lot of right hand points to barrel in Costa Rica. So if this is on, it's going to be on and the boys are going to be on it. Okay, so next we're going to talk about the hog hole, which is the probably the most consistent wave down in the Osa. In the Southern Osa, it's going to be it's going to be a steep, fast ride. Uh, it's got a lot of shallow, exposed rocks and ledges, so getting in, getting out here can be a challenge. Even though once you're out, you know, just like everywhere else, it's usually fine. Uh, it can be pretty crowded. It's a, it produces like like I said, some steep, fast walls. It can be a challenging break. It can go wild and heavy. When it's big, it's not a really a longboard friendly break, though some people do longboard here. It's not going to barrel like backwash. Uh, it probably won't be as crowded as backwash, 
but uh, it's still gonna have a local crew on it that's gonna be going for some turns and trying to score. It'll probably be a little bit bigger than backwash, uh, depending on the situation. And uh, finally, for our list of waves in the Southern Osa, you're gonna have uh, probably the namesake, probably the coolest wave in the Southern Osa. It's like a Rincon style, super mellow right hand point that can go for forever, 300, 400 yards. It's called Pan Dulce or Sweetbread and uh, it, it suits all types of surfers. There's always gonna be beginners here. It's always gonna be a little bit smaller than the other points. Uh, but you can have a really great time here on any kind of board. It's especially friendly for like a fish or like a fun shape. Uh, and uh, it can get pretty fast to it low tide, but it doesn't, it's not that steep. It doesn't barrel. Uh, it's super mellow, it's super fun. It's definitely the most, it's definitely the coolest wave in the Osa Peninsula. If you get a chance to score it, I highly recommend it. Uh, it can handle a huge crowd because the lineup is so spread out. It's a lot like a wave like Suns Alla Provones where it can really handle the crowd because the crowd is constantly moving down the point. Uh, and it's the kind of point where you catch a wave and you walk back and you catch another one and you walk back. There's no point even trying to paddle back because it's so far. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick little short guide to the Southern Osa. It's a difficult place to score. It can cost a little bit of money. You're gonna have to rent a four wheel drive. You're probably gonna have to stay either at an expensive surf camp or at Puerto Jimenez. But uh, if you can score it, it's definitely worth it to give it a try. It's one of the coolest areas in Costa Rica. It's wild, it's jungle, it's mostly unspoiled, but that doesn't mean you're gonna have it to yourself because Costa Rica is a surfing mecca. It's one of the top surfing meccas in the world. And when these breaks are on, everyone and their sister knows they're on and they're gonna be there and they're gonna be on it. I uh, hope you guys check out our next guide. Our next guide is gonna be the Dominical de Uvita area, uh, which is a lot more, uh, it, it's technically called the Southern Peninsula, or the, the, it's like the Northern Osa Peninsula, but uh, I really consider it to be more like Southern Punta Arenas. It's a lot more like the Central Coast. That'll be our next guide, so stay tuned for that. Thanks everybody for watching Ski Bum Surf Guide, Shredder out.